Ah, much better. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It is me, Duke C. T. Back with you once again here live on the talk show and on YouTube. All right. Let's talk a little about uh, Stranger Things now, shall we? Well, Stranger Things, fourth season has come to an end, and people are happy. Some people are this, that, and the other. And, uh, some people liked it, some people didn't like it. And that, but you know what? A lot of people really talked that it was a very interesting thing for the now upside down uh, pictures, uh, as they are, you know, the, the Duffer brothers who have made, you know, Recommend to Netflix with several new products. And honestly, Netflix, after Stranger Things is pretty much is done, they need some positive things. I mean, Squid Game is fine, but mostly people know Netflix is for, you know, in, you know just firing every single one of their uh, animation staff and, you know, not really paying their um, people that are there. And uh, you know, the binge-watching uh, model, which honestly doesn't really keep audience attention it keeps it on for one day but not watching week after week after week that's why HBO max disney plus and amazon you know prime for the most part is just lapping them is because they're just i think they're doing a lot more interesting things and having a lot better shows and here you know we got um they've um made um um you know uh, upside down pictures with um uh, Hillary Louvet, a, vet, a veteran of BBC America, who mostly ran um, uh, Hulu-based Blaze Burner. She also helped develop Orphan Black, um, you know, old, the Ozarks, the Great and Shiny Girls, stuff like that. And there's a lot of like, there's going to be a way uh, to like, oh, just maybe the way to you know build up on the series. And one of them is well not just that but the finally settling the whole stranger things phenomenon but also this right here death note a new live action series because well here's the last time oh the last time did not go well oh no it did not go well it did not go well at all so yeah Everything, even with um, William Defoe in that uh, title and, and such like that, it just did not work. It didn't, didn't work at all, you know. It just didn't work. It was uh, yeah, didn't work at all. Just did not work, and it sucks. It actually really uh, uh, you know, sucks that they never, you know really caught that type of, uh, you know, uh, connection that Death Note had, um, back in the early 2000s, you know, they never actually, you know, with, I mean, even with, like I said, William Defoe as Rook and such, that was pretty much a good, I, that was a good casting, but even then it never really went anywhere. It never really went anywhere, which is a shame. Because I think a lot of people would love to see a live-action Death Note done right. And here, with these type of, you know, creative and such, maybe it will work. Because, again, when you look at Stranger Things, the way they film the Upside Down and all these type of, uh, uh, you know, that sort of stuff. You know, the way that... It, um, you know, has that weird type of, um, universe and everything, the, the, the way they actually handle that stuff in the real world, in the fake world, that type of stuff, I think maybe these can be the people to do it, that's going to be, but the question is, are they going to, this would be an entire new take, but is it going to be the same thing in Japan? You know, are they going to go to Japan? Are they going to use America? Or someplace else that that's different this time? That's what's going to be the um, the story this time. Is it going to be that? Are they going to, you know, are they going to do that type of story 
in America or they're going to go with, you know, the Japanese origins and such like that. I don't know. I don't know what type of thing these uh, the, that type of um, world they are going to build. Um, I mean, they also are doing um, another original series from the creators of uh, Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, what else? Ah, uh, uh, yes. They're going to do a Stephen King ad- series adaptation of The Talisman. Um, you know, that's sort of that's going to be another story that they can do. Uh, you know, they're going to do. Um, um, they're going to really do. Um, I think that could be. This is going to probably be very interesting to look into. I'm at, they're all saying, oh, this is going to be look. They really seem to be. Any Matt, uh, Matt Duffer looks to be excited about it. And then a new stage play, uh, set within the world of mythology of Stranger Things. Of course, there's going to be a stage play. And there's going to be a uh, Stranger Things spin off, you know, uh, series. So. That's going to be very, uh, very interesting, um, very, very interesting, you know, uh, well, what they're going to, you'll bring to the table with this, uh, to these uh, shows, but again, this new version of Death Note, will this finally be the one that we can find, you know, the anime that finally brings over to live action? And it's a shame because this hasn't been the best anime movie, right? Um, honestly, the best anime movie, and I'm going to say it, would probably be uh, Speed Racer. Even then, it has its issues. There, I mean, there hasn't been a Superman. I'm talking about the 1979 Superman that I did for comics. We're still waiting for that for anime. There hasn't been one yet. I know they're trying to do something with One Piece and Netflix, and I don't know they're going to work with that. Maybe it will work. Maybe it won't. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know, um, I mean, Dragon Ball, I mean, they're doing animation movies, but, you know, Dragon Ball Z is owned by Disney. Uh, the movie rights are owned by Disney, so don't think they're not going to do anything with that because they, they're, they're looking at the numbers, so I wouldn't be surprised if they will uh, and such. Let's see. Uh, let me look at any other anime movies or Let's see. Um, let's see. Oh, God. Google, my best friend and worst enemy. All right, let's see. Um, let's look. There's a, a lot of, let's see, there's going to be something close to, um, I think there's going to be a, well, there is going to be Full Metal Alchemist. That's going to be, um, that's going to come out 2020. Uh, two. That's you know. That's gonna be a live action. Uh, Kingdom. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Umana no Kuni no Alice. That's what people say they really love that series. Oh, um, Yu Yu Hakusho is going to be. Well, let me just stop sharing here, and I'm gonna put this uh one here. Uh, can okay, we just uh put that here? Here we are. Boom. Um, they're going. Supposedly, it's going to be a um, Yu Yu Hakusho is going to have, have um, um, one in Netflix. So that's from 2023. Uh, Saint Celia, Knights of the Zodiac, um, a Hollywood live action uh, one. So that's going to be very interesting. I think the, there was an animated one that didn't do well. Uh, that's going to be a Hollywood adaptation, so here's hoping that's going to be decent. 2023, uh, let's see, the, oh, My Hero Academia, 
live action film. Um, um, exactly. Um, release date next year, supposedly. Uh, Steins Gate um, was going to do. Um, that's one is going to uh, to do one. There supposedly was back in 2020, but then um, they have they said it's still happening. But who knows? It wouldn't surprise me since after 2020, there's a lot of stuff that got canceled. So who knows? One Punch Man, which um, is directing the movie, so it's uh, looks like it might be you know that could happen. And Helsing. Sword Art Online on Netflix. Oh dear. Oh, and Naruto uh, supposedly is going to be um, around back in 2015. This was supposedly announced in 2015. Oh my goodness. So, um, this was like, wow. So, they were going to have a a Naruto movie by Lionsgate. And it was like, um, supposedly it's uh, stalled in production. And and they began negotiating direct as of 2018. Through, yeah, by uh, Michael Gracie was going to direct. And now as of 2022, and they say it's happening. Let me see. Um, let me click the link here. Is it happening? And they say right here, uh, this is a couple um, you know, months ago. It says, is the live action movie happening? And... Yes, what's capping the product? Performation, Charles not alone exception. As soon as started on a petition to push for the studio, studio's corrective decision to be executed into major film adaptation. They want to see a live action. People want to see the live action Naruto run. Naruto run in live action. Huzzah. And yeah, Naruto is like, could this be the Superman that anime has been waiting for? Since Dragon Ball Z couldn't do it, maybe Naruto can do the thing that they've been waiting for for so long. So who knows? And they're going to have a their own version of Naruto by director Nick Shaw is saying that, um, you know, uh, it looks like it could happen. I mean, they said that it looks like it's saying that it will be about saying, you know, beautiful stories from Japan around the world, saying not only do we want to show but respect to Masari Kishimoto, the creator of Naruto, but we also hope to show the executives at Lionsgate that we can adapt Naruto into a live action in a way that will excite fans and draw new audiences. A live action adaptation should be about sharing beautiful stories from Japan with the world in a reimagined light while pertaining to the animal, anime's core message, characters, themes, and character vi- vision. So, yeah. Um, let's see. It's been five years since the thing was, you know, there was going to supposedly the reveal was going to happen in mid 2015. Then you have, uh, Avi Arad was going to produce. He was produced the Spider-Man movies and such. Um, no one knows what's going to happen. Uh, I mean, um, yeah, it looked like he was being consulted. Uh, uh, Masai Kishimoto, if I'm pronounced that name, uh, if I, hopefully I pronounced that name right. If I didn't, I apologize. He says verified about he is being consulted, with the, which is good. I uh, hopefully they get the consulting and talk to him, make sure this stuff ends up right. Like, uh, and maybe do a little bit things different because the story of Naruto is. I mean, they're doing Boruto now. Naruto's story is done, and oh, like okay, this is the adaptation of it, different from the manga, different from the anime, different from all the stuff. What can he, like, okay, what are we going to take away? And what we can prove? What can they do to make things maybe a little bit better and such? And they don't know what actors are going to be involved. And they don't know. And I, like I said, it looks like it's, no one really um, knows. Oh, goodness, no, get, get that out of here. Uh, but no one knows. No one really knows what's going on about these, uh, you know, the stories and such. But again, I go right back to this, uh, Get this here and share it here. Do, 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 do. There we are to this. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is, you know, um, uh, again, you look at the, you know, 
look back here to Death Note, which supposedly, I don't know when the date is going to announce this time. Well, I mean, we've been waiting for this for so long. For so long. But yet, I don't know what is going to anime to finally bridge that gap because comic movies, they still better make bank. I just think, here, to me, the sad part is I truly believe Black Adam would probably make more money and probably be a lot more of a cultural thing than anything the anime can, um, you know, right now because they, uh, and in the anime movie right now, especially, say, uh, a Naruto movie because I, I, I mean, that, let's be honest, I just don't think Hollywood has it in them to make a really good version of that story. I don't trust Hollywood. I don't think they I don't think they have the people behind the scenes to do it. They don't have a Kevin Feige there. They don't have people who will sit there or who will actually sit there and do what the director is and anything else. They don't have a Sam Raimi. They don't have a you know, even Zack Snyder. They don't have these people who know the characters and such. They don't. They don't have it. And quite honestly, um, It's, um, you know, sad, and I don't know when it's going to happen. There needs to be someone there to say, this is what we need to do, this is what we not need to do. And and I, I don't know if Netflix, or people behind Netflix, or any Hollywood, Lionsgate, or whatever, have that person in there yet. They don't, I don't think they have the, the man or the woman there to make sure to have it. I don't know. I just don't know. Because, honestly, every time I see most of these anime movies... Most of the time I see these live action Americanized Hollywood films, they fail on such an epic level. I mean, I feel so, I mean, ugh, gosh. Ugh, man. Ghost in the Shell. Man, that movie, man, deserves so much better. I hated the fact that Ghost in the Shell was, ter was, was like, I watched that movie and it sucked. I hate I hate the fact that movie didn't do well. And it was completely just looked like a complete uh, train wreck. And it sucks. It was a train wreck. I hated it. Um, and I really looked at stuff like, oh, gosh, part of me wishes they you know, went standalone complex, you know. Gosh, that was my favorite. That to me is one of my uh, best, you know, anime series I ever watched. And I loved it. And they still haven't made a great movie. They still have not made, um, you know, a live action, you know, movie that could actually go there and make that something a leap for that. It's a shame. It's just a shame that anime still has that barrier to prove. You know, you know how many times they can be like number four or five in the box office animated stuff, or maybe two, maybe a two. Oh my gosh, they did the ring number two, and then maybe you know. <laughs> they get number one, even though there's no big movies out. But yeah, that's a great thing. But no, they never ever make that break that live action glass ceiling. And they're not dumping on animation. I believe that that's great to be they're they're like number one or number two or number three or whatever in the you know, U.S. box office. I like the fact that animation, a United States animation, you know, you know, you know, anime, Japanese animation and such gets gets through. And heck. And also proves that you don't need to have, you know, big Hollywood stars. You don't need big goddamn Hollywood stars like, you know, Disney and all the DreamWorks and all this other, you know, bollocks, and, you know, BS. That you don't need to have that. You don't need to have that uh, on the, you know, on the screen. Um, you don't need to have that on the uh, uh, no, you don't need to have that on the on the ten enough. You can sell the movie and such, you know, and and make them into stars, you know. It'd be nice. I mean, maybe America's films will be, you know. I guarantee you, a lot of these animated uh, movies will have a lot less of a, you know, their budgets will be a lot smaller if they just. Had the regular voice actors. That's why Teen Titans go to the movies. It only made ten million dollars, but it made some of their money back, and it was actually pretty good. 
you know, they didn't need to make a, you know, didn't like, oh my gosh, yo, they had to, they had to replace all the actors and voice actors and yada, 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 and I'm like, no, 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 they just got the regular voice actors and they did it, it was nice, I loved it, you know, that was great, wish, I wish more Hollywood people would do that, instead of having Kevin Smith or you know, this guy or Dwayne Johnson voicing every person. Like, no. Get the people who do voice acting. Get some good voice actors. You know, get people who know what they're doing and have good voice direction. Is that too much to ask? I guess it is in some cases, but that's just my personal opinion. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thank you for listening to me, Duke CT. We'll be right um, back next week here on the Duke CT Lounge. I'm sorry I didn't do any live streaming tonight because I'm just so, you know, I'm, I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not really a hundred percent. I was just like overly worried because of the, you know, there was like some bad flooding around my way, and uh, you know, I was like, man. No, I, I I was so worried about like uh, today. It's like it was cloudy, it was raining. Is it gonna be raining? It's gonna be flooding, and it just worried me all day. So I was like, no, I can't stream like that. But I don't worry. Tomorrow I will be streaming. Um, oh, I'll be streaming Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition with my brand new controller I bought. So that's gonna be fun. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for being here. It's Duke CT. Peace, love. I'll see you when I see y'all. Later.